It's my first year at Sodium, but so far we've been doing virtual schooling. Uh, yes, we are back. On, uh, we are online doing school. Yeah, everything's online. I did not have to do school online this school year. We have just brought back our elementary students. But we're full virtual currently. Um, I've had to change my whole way of teaching, essentially. I had to like redo all my tests because, unfortunately, we're just assuming they're all cheating. <laughs> Cheating is obviously a big problem in Zoom. Yeah. I don't know a single person that's studied for a test. We have to like split up at lunchtime. So we have five lunches this year instead of three. They're overloading us with work because I guess since they think that we're at home, we can handle twice as much work. They make classes super long. It's so much harder to pay attention in them. You know, there are students that are struggling socially and emotionally as well. You know, that mental health side of it, it really makes me sad for kids that, you know, are feeling isolated or don't have support networks at home. I mean, as you can see, I'm in my basement and this is where I probably spend five to six hours of my day every day. It's pretty rough. It's pretty rough to basically sit on Zoom all day. It just makes you feel alone, obviously. I've seen a couple colleagues cry on Zoom because they just can't handle it. It's, it's very different. It's very hard. And this is the bigger problem is that a lot of students didn't feel like they were being heard. If your students don't feel like they're heard, and there's enough to the point where they don't want to even reach out to change something, that should be a pretty big, big pretty big problem right there. We're only doing a four class system right now. And I, what I like about that is that's basically what college is going to be like. So by far my favorite is just that we can just leave classes if we get done early. I'm really glad that we were actually able to come back. I really miss my friends and I think it's kind of hard to learn online. There's people that don't want to go back to school at all and people that are okay being online, people that are like, well, there's a risk involved. And then there are people that like me that are like, I know there's a risk involved, but I'm willing to take that risk to go back to school. Yeah, uh, I will be going back in person in a hybrid form. And the, I mean, the cons definitely outweigh the pros. So I think there have been a lot of lessons for many of us in all different positions in the district. I think the biggest takeaway for me is just the need for differentiation and the need for individualizing for students and families. We've always known that that is important. Every student learns differently, but this has really forced us through this pandemic to put structures in place and be very creative and kind of break down some of those barriers to not only focus just on the academic side, but also the social emotional side. I think my school has handled the pandemic okay. I mean, obviously no one likes it, but I think given the circumstances, they're trying to stay as normal as possible.